Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is coming out pretty late, but lately I've been feeling more like playing games than modding them. And I recently got my hands on a PS5, and have been playing a bit of a catch-up with Final Fantasy VII Intergrade before Rebirth comes out at the end of the month. Well, alright then, here are the top 5 armor mods on the Nexus for January 2024. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. Coming in at number 5, we have the Savior's Hide Replacer, uploaded on the 26th of January 2024 and received 125 endorsements by January 31st. This is a replacer for the Savior's Hide that you get at the end of the Daedric Quest, Ill Met by Moonlight, after killing and skinning a Nord named Syndig. And if you ask why you would skin a Nord, well it's because he's actually a werewolf. After skinning Syndig, her sign appears to take his werewolf hide. He then explains that he's blessed the skin with his Daedric powers and transforms it into the Savior's Hide. The original version is not much to look at, and it's a pity since it can be upgraded at the workbench by just using leather and its ebony tier as well. It also has some useful enhancements, such as resist magic for 15% and resist poison for 50%. With this replacer however, I would actually consider using this armor. Number 4, River Watch Set uploaded on the 7th of January 2024 and received 176 endorsements by January 31st. This mod adds an imperial themed light armor set and a weapon which is like a mace. The mod also includes a loading screen with the text. I honestly don't know where the author Polcharm comes up with their ideas for this armor. The armors are always very original though with a hint of historical callback to a certain culture. I can never put my finger on it, but I remember researching another armor for from Polcharm that I reviewed on this channel in November, and I believed it was called the Wayrest Sellsword Set. The closest thing I could find was a culture known as the Berbers from Northern Africa, who seemed to be pre-Egyptian, yet at, at the same time were part of the Roman Empire. Wherever Polcharm gets their ideas from, their armors are amongst the most originals I've ever seen. Number 3, Eastern Breastplate, uploaded on the 18th of January 2024 and received 203 endorsements by January 31st. This mod adds a Dwemer themed heavy armor set and weapon. It can be crafted and requires the Dwarven Smithing perk. So this one is also by Pull Charm Solace. This work is just as original as the last one that we just saw and it fits very well within Skyrim. I think that if this armor had been added in the Creation Club by Bethesda and sold as a uh, Dwemer armor set, people would actually buy it, both literally and figuratively. Um, one funny thing I noticed about this armor set is that the shield comes off exaggeratedly large, while the hammer lacks any real range, though packs a punch. So I'm kind of stuck trying to figure out who would use this. Maybe a Dwemer defense force or town guard or some sort of police uh, type of unit. But um, other than that, I would probably just switch out the weapons for something with a little more range. But it looks amazing. It fits very well even here in uh, Raven Rock. Number two. Legacy of Isgrimoire, uploaded on the 23rd of January 2024 and received 255 endorsements by January 31st. This mod was made by Nord War UA. They also created the popular Sons of Skyrim mod that is the most popular guard armor replacer mod, so this mod also uses assets from that one. This set comes in two colors. The other is an ebonite retexture for armor and weapons. Ebonite weapons and armor can be reforged from steel by adding a few ebonite ingots and gold. Of course, you need to also have the ebonite forging perk. The old wolf armor model for the companions has been replaced with a new model that was removed from the Sons of Skyrim mod. The mesh and texture of this model have been improved and repainted to fit the companions. 
It also has added a new shield model and Skyforge weapons to create a complete set of gear for the Companions Guild. The axe and shield models are new and are made after the Isgrimoire axe and shield by including Wuthard's embroidered design onto the weapons and axe. This mod also includes a separate ESP, so you can use it as a standalone or a replacer for the old wolf armor set. And at number one, we have Tavern Maid, uploaded on the 3rd of January 2024 and received 566 endorsements by January 31st. Honestly, I'm not surprised to see Alexia at the top of the list. Since I've started making these videos, they've consistently been on the list or on top of the list. And guys, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the content, please hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. As usual, you need to generate a body slide in order to view this armor on your character. If not, it'll come up blank. I'm currently using the smaller, bigger 3BA body slide, which I will link below. Besides being ESL flagged, this armor is highly modular. It includes five sets, each with five pieces that you can mix and match. The main variation is the color of the cloth, which is either black or white. So this set doesn't actually offer as much variance as Alexei's other modular mods. Though I love the simplicity and the minimalist approach, since it seems like something you could just throw on to walk around town. This is something I would consider using with one of those mods that lets you run your own tavern or inn. I know that there's another mod out there that lets you own your own farm as well. Combine that with Bellathor's sister and you can have a thriving economy in Skyrim, all while looking fashionable. Lastly, I have an honorable mention here that didn't make it on the list, but this is by a modder named New Miller. Just wanted to bring your attention to this modder that I've noticed on the Nexus. Their style fits right in with Skyrim. Both armors I want to show you here are something that look really well within upper society and solitude, so they go well within Skyrim. Maybe even better, something that you would see in Cyrodiil. These armors, in my opinion, look both elegant and sturdy, and the design on the skirt also goes very well with the aesthetic of the armor. The ebony armor has several variants, with the main difference being the color of the skirt. I like what New Miller is creating and I hope to see more of it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've watched to the end, I appreciate you and I thank you for watching. Remember to also endorse your favorite mod authors on the Nexus to show them your support and maybe we'll get to review some of their mods on this channel. Till next time, peace.